Hey guys and gals, Shutrus here bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we're in the snapshot 14W04B and we are taking a look at this uh, one-time butt switch I found using the the new item frames with the comparator output. Now this uses a couple glitch, well it uses a one glitch and it, it itself is a glitch I'm sure of. But uh, I'll show you first how it works. So we have our item frame here and we have a comparator out of it. Now normally in this snapshot you'd uh, expect power out here of level 7 as it's up in the 7th position. But watch what happens when we cause a block update. I'll show you from over here. Boom! It's now set. Now what caused that? Well, it was a trick of how I placed this item frame. Now another way of uh, enabling it would have been to rotate the item again. So if you want like a sign that latches as soon as someone does something, or just a block update for a map, maybe this would be useful for you. Maybe not. Um, so what? So how we do this? So we're gonna use another glitch here using uh, fences and item frames. So we're gonna place, say, our arrow in here. We're gonna keep it this. Uh, we'll put it here just to show what happens. So now what we're gonna do is place another item frame. We're gonna place it on the fence here, and that game lets us actually place it. Now you can't see it because they're completely overlapped. But if we carefully go in here and right-click the back, you can see we can place another item in here. Now, I, don't, I haven't tried doing this with more than one. I think you might be able to overlap more, but I'm just going to rotate this over to somewhere useful, like up there. We can rotate the front one. So now we need to get this on. So now we'll put our comparator here, and as normal, comparators can't pull through this block, even if I just had uh, one on here. That's normal, but so we're going to put this on a solid block. We're going to use a piston to push this in. Boom. Now it's on a solid block. And yet, still no output. Now, why is that? Well, there seems to be some odd uh, glitch when there's two of these in the same tile. It can't seem to output properly, no matter if we rotate or update it. I haven't tried out updating the back one because there's no real way of... Oop. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but there's no way of doing... Setting power through. So it's not uh, outputting. So what we're going to do is break one of these. We're going to shift. We broke the item out of it. Now shift again. We've broken the other frames. So now just one frame here with one item. And you notice it hasn't triggered itself. Now I've sat here for a while and they don't seem to ever trigger on world updates unless it's just really slow. I don't know. But now this is our block update detector. It's what we had over here at the start. So it causes a block update on this block or beside that block, like changing this redstone. Or I believe changing this. Yep, you can see just by changing that we've triggered the block up detector and that's just the glitch really. Now the more useful glitch is actually just putting two item overlaps but this is a neat little thing you can do with uh, new items. Might find a use for it, might not. Anyway, it's been Chartreuse. Have a nice day.